Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the series of your favorite mode, where you can't say locker unless it ends with a code. And when it comes to talking money, you know nothing is owed. Season 7 is now at the end of the road, so let's jump into this new episode. Boys and girls, welcome back to another episode of the No Money Spent Series. What are you listening to? Henry the Blasian. Brand new. Not even out yet. I feel alive again. I know I gotta win. And I've been on my way. Ain't no abandoning. Yo, what is going on guys? Henry the Blasian here and welcome back to another episode of the No Money Spend series, man. Now, as you guys can probably tell by the title, today's going to be a pretty crazy episode because I'm sure I put this in the title, guys, but today I plan on securing not one, not two, not three, but in fact, four dark matters in one episode. And the best part is every single one of them is gonna be free that's right man we have been putting in the work on the no money spent you can see on the top right that we're now level 36 i got a nice little ascension board saved up for you guys we've made mt on our journey on our grind we're almost at 700 000 mt we might hit that this episode we might not all i know is the lineup that you see in front of you right now it is about to change big time in about a good hour or two we'll see how long this episode is but as always guys if you are new to the channel man don't forget to hit that subscribe button we're now on the journey to 300 000 subscribers we just hit 250 you guys have been showing insane love and i promised you guys this episode so here it is but here's the deal if we get 3,000 likes on this episode i got you with yet another one on wednesday and i promise you that one is gonna be a banger as well but to start off this episode guys you already know the vibes man we gotta start off with some locker codes and i have secured a couple good packs over the weekend now as soon as i punch this locker code in we are gonna have to go ahead and do our ascension board first but guys it has never been a better time to be a no money spent player than this year right here is the locker code make sure you go ahead and punch it in it's gonna be available for a week we're not gonna get the ball dropped just yet because like i said this is going to be our final chance at another dark matter. If we manage to secure Sidney Moncrief this episode, that's going to be five dark matters in one episode. I'll take a silver pack, actually. I'll take as many contracts as 2K wants to give me. We got up to 20 picks. We get an extra pick right back there. That's going to be big time. But I want you guys to let me know in the comments, man, what have you guys been up to as far as the no money spent grind? Because there's so many things that they've added. The limited time events for the new cards, which we'll take a look at in just a moment. The final limited week weekend for Elgin Baylor like there is so many things going on and if you're not grinding the no money spent life you really are missing out mystery pack on the third pick right there that is nice but uh yeah whether you're a no money spent or money spender as we get yet another mystery pack life is good right now for people on my team the big questionable thing about my team this year honestly is the gameplay but I'm sure we can all agree that when it comes to content this is easily the best content we've ever gotten as far as a my team we don't care about the ruby series three cards we're moving Moving up to the final board and we got 12 picks now i'm gonna follow the same system we've done the last two times i'm gonna ride it on that left side because that left side it's given the best rewards because again i'm not really stressing too much if i don't get the sydney moncrief if anything if i can walk away here with a diamond contract or something nice like that i'll be just as happy don't get me wrong i'll take a free dark matter but at this point in the year sydney moncrief isn't even making my no money spent lineup as we get an extra two picks right there this left Left side right now is not looking too hot i'm gonna gamble it on the corner even though the corners never have the prize right there we get ourselves an oladipo pack look at how many free packs we're getting another 300 mt nothing too crazy i'll try this spot right here maybe we'll get lucky a quantum pack now the best card we can pull out of there is only a galaxy opal but if we get galaxy opal kevin durant he might be on the squad as we get a diamond shoe yo this is a crazy no money spent off the bat a thousand mt that's gonna be a foul that's a sign that i gotta start avoiding that side or maybe i go right there and that's a diamond consumables pack now most of the time it's a diamond shoe but it could be a diamond contract who knows let's try out that corner that's only gonna be 300 mt something tells me sydney's right there something's telling me i was completely wrong as well final pick let's spin her up make it sydney for the boys and a diamond shoe to end it off 
Yo, that is nuts. I really don't care that I didn't get Sydney because the amount of stuff we just got there is ridiculous in itself. And now we got ourselves a ball drop here. But speaking of the grind to level 40, I honestly don't know if I'm going to grind to level 40 and secure the Vince. This locker code right here, super, super fire. There's going to be another locker code I'm going to punch in this episode, which is the same as this one. This one's expired now, so I'm not even really going to bother showing it to you guys. But this next one, it hasn't expired just yet. It does expire tomorrow, which by the time this episode will be out. So if you watch this episode right away, you will get a nice little locker code that you can punch in off the bat. Not going to lie to you guys, I wanted the out position two pack but i'll take another diamond consumables i just hope it's not a diamond shoe because again unless it's a kobe shoe it really doesn't matter to us but uh this was the locker code we punched in earlier today and this one is the actual chance at the out of position two pack now if we can pull a dark matter lebron or something on the no money spent we've essentially beat the no money spent please go to the corner come on ah bounces right out i'm not even sure what the yellow is three tokens i mean that's nothing too bad they up the prizes i guess a little bit the badges is kind of useless at this point in the year anyways but i got one more locker code to punch in and this one again is a big dub if you haven't punched this in make sure you go ahead and take the chance and punch it in because again this one was only available for 24 hours so unless you follow me on twitter you would not have seen this so the code is pink race to 40 done so make sure you punch that in take a chance hopefully it's still around by the time you guys punch it in but again similar to the one we just had earlier this time i needed to land on the lebron pack because any chance at a dark matter Giannis or LeBron is something I will take on the no money spent imagine we get Giannis on the no money spent we will have literally beat the game when it comes to the no money spent life unfortunately it's going to go to the other out of position which is probably the worst one out of the three I mean we can get dark matter Kobe or Grant Hill but they don't really have value like that but that's going to do it for all the locker codes now before we take a look at the pack market you guys can see I've got 23 things waiting that's right I've literally been grinding this game out for like crazy and one of those things guys is going to be the final dark matter that we need to grind out for bill russell that's right ladies and gentlemen we finished all 10 galaxy opals once again and we just secured ourselves dark matter damian lillard now one thing i've also been doing is grinding out the challenges like i told you guys we got some new players for this limited weekend it's only available for another day in six hours at the time of this video being out now i'm gonna be honest with you guys if you're a no money spent player some of these things really aren't worth it for example triple threat online buddy healed he's a cool card but i'm not really just just chasing any free card at this point there's some really good cards out so i don't have to force myself to grind for everything on the no money spent and unfortunately buddy healed is just not going to be worth it now from what i've been told this tj warren is a bucket and i've seen him online i got him on my main account he's probably one of the better ones to go for but i don't think he's the best one i don't think he's gonna last very long on my no money spent squad i'm not saying he's not worth it he could be worth it for you guys but with the team that i have I really don't need him. And then last but not least, we got Limited, which is going to be Galaxy Opal D'Angelo Russell. Now, most of you guys are probably going to get this by accident just by grinding for the ring. But D'Lo, he's another card that's not going to end up being worth it. A 6'5 point guard. His jumper isn't the hottest. He's not the most athletic card. He's not a bad card, but he's definitely not going to be one that's going to be making my squad either. Because keep in mind, I got J.R. Smith. I got Ginobili. I've got a bunch of demigods already, so I'm not too worried. But one card I did grind for, I think is definitely going to be worth it and you should do it because it's the easiest one 20 triple threat offline wins gives you one of the best if not the best card you can get out of the four this weekend and that's galaxy opal christian wood you guys are going to see why another card i decide to go ahead and grind out if it's going to let me show you guys is the dark matter george mikan now i did this off camera there's six hours left on this so you had up until all weekend to get this done i had to get this done as soon as possible that's dark matter number two but guess what ladies and gentlemen things get even better before we even look at what packs came out over the weekend take a look at this Holy another free shit. dark matter in dark matter larry kennan when we were grinding out triple threat wins for george mikan we got larry kennan on our journey so that right there alone is three dark matters this episode larry kennan george mikan and damian lillard the fourth one is hopefully gonna be elgin baylor this weekend and then by the next episode we're gonna have invincible dark matter 
Bill Russell. The amount of dark matters I've added onto my squad in the last week alone is absolutely nuts. But before we get these guaranteed players, we got a bunch of packs to open. Warped Reality, if I can get a nice little dark matter Steph Curry, that'd be lovely. But our no money spent luck, like I've said before, guys, hasn't been the hottest. We get a nice little Amethyst there. Matt Bonner, Boner, however you say it, doesn't matter. Up next, I've been doing some of the weekly challenges, which gave us a nice little rewind pack. So we can get a nice little Enshrined Magic, maybe even a Kobe, who knows? But again, man, the pack luck on the no money spent has just not been good to us. Can I please just get one Dark Matter out of these packs so we can all turn up together? In this next one here, we can get Invincible Kevin Garnett or Dark Matter Anthony Davis. Either one of those would be super lovely. Come on, 2K. And once again, no shake. It's going to be a Sapphire. <laughs> Ja Morant. Now, hopefully these packs can start to heat up a little bit as we continue the life of no shakes. I'm sure you guys get way better pack luck than me. On the no money spent, I've got some of the worst free pack luck that you can get. Now, one thing we did get was an out of position pack. This one is from the weekly challenge. It's super easy. Go get it done if you haven't already, but give me a dark matter 2k. Oh my goodness, man. We still get nothing. I, can, I can't even get an emerald player. Kevin Knox. Nice. I knew things were too good to be true after we got blessed on that ascension board. But uh, right here, radioactive. It looks like we're getting a shake. Now, I'm not even sure what galaxy opal or pink diamonds are in here. But please, at the least, give me an opal. And it's still going to be a diamond, man. Our luck. Our luck is just... I don't know what to say. And it's gonna be none other than the big boy himself, man. Diamond Yao Ming. He could be useful in future challenges. I mean, we're about to be done the spotlight, so I'm likely gonna sell him back. I have no reason to really keep him. Like 2K, one of these packs has to be good, right? Finally, a shake, and it's a diamond once again. I'm not even wasting my time with it. Again, another basic pack. We're just taking L's out here, man. I really stacked all of these, thinking we could get something fire on top of the four dark matters this episode, but right there we get a diamond Iman Shumper. Life isn't looking too good for us out here, boys, as once again, no shake and amethyst. <laughs> it's, a, it's a regular card. A moment's Tobias Harris. Oh man. Second to last pack that we can open. And it's another L for the quantum pack. Felipe Lopez, we've already got him. I know that for a fact, but I'm gonna go ahead and quick sell him. I gotta make sure I get all this out of the way because we don't have much time to secure that Elgin Baylor. And I need that final ring. I could walk away with a Hall of Fame badge, but I'd much prefer to have a ring since, uh, yeah, these packs aren't exactly blessing us. We're gonna have to continue to work for our free cards, man. The only way we can be saved here is if these diamond shoes have a Kobe in them. Diamond pack one, not bad, actually. It's a 3.1 and spew a ball. I'll actually take that. Taking a look at the diamond consumable, it's gonna be a shoe. I'll take the extra two contracts. I'd really much rather have a diamond contract, though. But again, I'm not mad. We got a lot of things from this ascension board. I just need one of these things to be fire we stacked up so many things and to walk out like this we're down bad okay so we definitely took a bunch of l's there but we do have a couple dark matters we are going to be adding to the squad so i'm happy about that but we're going to start off with this galaxy opal here because this christian wood guys he is basically like a souped up version of a tony kukoc this card right here is such a bucket you guys have time to do this triple threat offline only takes like an hour and a half and you got yourselves one of the best power forwards in the game if you can't go for bill russell he's going to be a good replacement for bill russell because they play almost the same on top of that guys this card's player model in game is taller than it looks which is a big dub because he's only listed at 6 10 he looks at least 6 11 to 7 feet tall in game and up next a dark matter i don't even have on my main account yet look at that beautiful glow that's just something i can't get over but now it's time to welcome home dark matter larry kennan baby it's still crazy to me that we're really bringing in this many dark matters in one episode now i haven't had the chance to try this card out like i said hopefully he's decent maybe he makes a squad i know he does not come with range extender which is definitely going to be a negative but for now maybe he's going to be usable up next here we got the final dark matter that we're going to be needing to grind out for invincible bill russell now i would do all this in one episode but i kind of want to walk you guys through the bill russell challenges because i know a lot of you guys are struggling which is why i said i'm gonna save the bill russell for the next episode because otherwise i could title this video securing five dark matters in one episode but that's just gonna be a little bit too much i don't need that kind of stress and last but definitely not least man dark matter george mikan the fourth dark matter we're adding to the team and it's only been like 15 minutes of the episode 
so this card is a problem his jumper is deadly he moves very nice i honestly might play him at center off the bench and sell deandre jordan because deandre jordan he costs mt this card he's free he's a bucket we might have to take him and just like that guys from opening packs and quick selling stuff we're now sitting at 708,000 mt and i don't think i had anything waiting in the auction outcomes but let's take a look at the new packs that dropped this weekend so in the new out of position packs guys not gonna lie to you guys some of these cards are gonna be must cops because it's basically changed the meta of my team for the rest of the year if you're not using some kind of tall point guard on your team you're essentially screwed because now you're running into lebron james Giannis antetokounmpo demarcus cousins at point guard but if you're a budget player don't worry too much because we got a galaxy opal josh smith who's a bucket galaxy opal larry bird who i must have on the team nicholas batum is another must have card on the team if you're a budget player he's going for very cheap there's no reason you should not pick him up and then you got ben simmons not too bad vladi divak not too bad luca he's okay boris dl we're actually going to be picking him up for limited because he plays point guard and this card is a bucket mugsy bogues this card is an absolute troll he's a center he's five foot three or something and he's got like 60 hall of fame badges he's basically like an amethyst goat card but tuke was kind of just trolling with him we're not too worried about him but uh yeah we're looking to pick up a couple of these cards at the very least by the end of the episode but before we pick anything up i want to secure that final dark matter but first things first let me adjust my new squad here because with all these dark matters i gotta put people in certain places but now it's actually time to secure the final ring i need that dark matter elgin baylor because from what i've seen and from what i've ran into in unlimited that card's a bucket so let's go ahead and let's build that limited lineup and my team actually already is eligible one thing i do want to change though is justice winslow i'm gonna go ahead and add that boris d out because the amount of mt that card is gonna be going for for how he affects the overall of the lineup with how many badges he comes with it's just a must cop like just look at that man an amethyst card with 69 total badges 28 of them being hall of fame it's a no-brainer that you should pick this card up and unfortunately we miss out on that one but for 1950 let me get one that at least has some contracts on it this card is a must-have for limited so one thing i don't understand is i just got rid of a diamond justice winslow went all the way down to boris dl and that didn't affect my overall whatsoever so that part does kind of suck although i think i can definitely rock it with this team lopez is a bucket jade mcdaniels is gonna be great on defense and he does have the range and sharpshooting takeover thaddeus young does his thing bobo does his thing so honestly i plan on scoring most of this game with my bobo anyway so this right here it's gonna be the roster hopefully we can make it work if it doesn't work we'll adjust a little bit but ladies and gentlemen it's time to hunt for that final ring let's get right to it all right ladies and gentlemen welcome back to another htb gameplay and this guy's weapon of choice is gonna be that galaxy opal james wiseman he's also got sapphire ben simmons who i'm definitely not too worried about because that card definitely can't shoot all right point guard boris diao not a card i expected myself to use but i'll make it work all the way to the basket he's got that violent dunk as long as he doesn't get it going with this james wiseman we're gonna be okay great defense there by Jaden mcdaniels but we can't allow those kind of rebounds as long as ray allen and james wiseman don't get it going we're gonna be all right that left to right running it's not supposed to work out here man I hate to do this, but when I see a mismatch, I gotta attack it. Bobo, you're just gonna be so much faster than Shaquille O'Neal. That's such an easy mismatch for us. Wow, this Boris DL can actually curve side too. That's nuts. Jaden on the off ball deodorant. Nothing but greens out here, man. I still love this guy as a budget card. If you guys don't know, check out the last episode. Get there. Good defense there by Jaden. Terrible shot there by James Wiseman. And we're running, man. Come on, in transition. Thaddeus Young. Let's keep running. Oh, he's jumping a little too early. Easy mid-range pull-up. Easy money, boys. We're cooking. Lock it up. Good defense. That's a turnover. Ha! Ah, he's going to score that. He's going to score that. Watch that. This game is so bad. This game is so bad. If we're going to win this game, I need to get somebody takeover. Jaden, I need you to turn up and run the actual play. Catch and shoot. Nice little off-ball deodorant. We're knocking down the three. All right, let's get some defensive stops here, man. Good defense there by Bobo. Come on. Let's run with it. All the way through. I see that man in the corner. Catch. Felipe Lopez, green, dimer me mama. See, now we're starting to lock in. Come on, boys. Give me that, that's a steal. Get the, oh, yo, the algo in this game is driving me nuts. If he hits that, I'm gonna quit this game. Oh my goodness, thank you. Can we get something going here, please? Jaden, you got takeover, curry slide, open three. That's a green. That's all I need, man. The algorithm in 2K has been so bad recently. Give me a fake screen there, thank you. Curry slide, blow by, stopping. Pop that three, that's another green for Jaden McDaniels. 
Come on, now we're starting to step it up. In the second half here, man, I'm gonna see what I can get going with Bobo. Keep hitting that square button, that's perfectly fine. Drive through, kick it out to Bobo. Dimer me, mama, that's a green. Beautiful offense, man. Our problem definitely isn't the offense, it's, it's the algo. Let's push the pace here, Jaden, in transition. Shaq should not be that fast, and we're putting it down, man. This card is literally carrying me. This is only our first game of limited, and I already want to turn this game off. Give me that. Good defense there by Felipe. 2K! Thank you. Good defense there by Bobo. All the way through. Putting it down. That's the only way for us to get stops right now. Nice rebound there by Bobo. Is that a Boris DL with takeover I see? Oh, yes, sir. I'm stopping. I'm popping. That's a green. Boris DL is so good, man. Good defense there by Bull Bull. Ray Allen, the last thing you're going to do is drive to the basket. Oh, he's reaching a little too early. He's jumping now. Oh, he's throwing bodies at me. Can you get out of the way, Felipe Lopez? What are you asking for the ball for? Wide open Boris Diaw. Bang! Nice rebound right there. Boris Diaw. He's not done causing mayhem. Let's go right down the middle. Yes, sir. I'm pulling that. Green! Boris Diaw is an animal. He's trying to go crazy with Ray Allen, and I'm stopping all of that, man. As soon as the ball gets into Ray Allen's hands, I'm double teaming. Slow it down. Slow it down. Where's he sending that help from? Jaden. If I get a screen here, this is going to be an automatic three. Thank you very much. Pulling that. Green! Oh, my goodness. We are taking over. One more bucket here should get Jaden to take over right down the middle. I'm not scared of Steph Curry. That's the last person I'm worried about. We got to take over once again. Things are about to get so bad. Give me a nice little screen there. Hit that screen. Pull it from deep. Oh my gosh, man. Sharp shooting takeover on next gen. It honestly isn't fair. Nice little crossover there. Curry slide. One more three there for Jaden. And I think we can basically call the game at that point. He's got 34 points, man. He was big time in this win. And just like that, guys, that's game one out of the way. 67 to 42 is the final score. GG's to my opponent. Jaden McDaniels right there, man. Coming through big time for us and securing the dub. Now let's just hope we got our ring. 2k gods i have seen what you have done for others i need you to do the same for me to oh, yo let's go oh my god thank you thank you it only took me one game to secure the ring ladies and gentlemen you know what this means dark matter elgin baylor is officially home i really didn't think i was gonna get that in game one wow 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 just like that, we've got yet another Dark Matter shooting guard on the squad. This is one reason I was thinking I did not need that TJ Warren. Because this Baylor, a lot of people are sleeping on this card. His jumper makes no sense. It is so saucy. And if you guys manage to grind out all four weeks, then you got yourself this bad boy right here. Let's not waste any time. Let's bring home, what is that? The fourth or fifth Dark Matter on the no money spent today. This has been absolutely insane. 90 99 overall, number 22, from the Los Angeles Lakers, Dark Matter Elgin Baylor, baby. Took us four weeks to get this card. Thank God it was only a four-week grind. That reminds me that we're actually getting a new season at the end of this week. Absolutely nuts. But just like that, man, I believe that is for Dark Matters because we got George Mikan, we got Larry Kennan, we got Damian Lillard, and now we got ourselves an Elgin Baylor. The 2K gods really came through for us today, man. Look at that. All these Dark Matters here. The fact that some of these Dark Matters don't even make the team is absolutely nuts. But Elgin Baylor, 1,000%, you are on the squad. Now, I did want to quickly show you guys this Baylor's jumper as you can see he's got that Exum base man that jumper speed is no joke if I get open I'm not sure if he comes with blinders we might have to give it to him but again we're still waiting on dark matter Bill Russell like people think this is the end of the no money spent not even close things are about to get even crazier and we're gonna be ready for the next season and the crazy thing is I'm still missing Bill Russell I'm still missing the Vince Carter which honestly I don't think I'm gonna go for because this Elgin Baylor is gonna be better than him but man, it is crazy. Look at that jumper. And now, let me show you Christian Wood. For those of you guys that were doubtful about grinding this card or you thought it wasn't going to be worth it, look at how tall he is. So putting him right beside DeAndre Jordan, look at that. They're both supposed to be the same height, but it is so obvious that Christian Wood's player model is that much taller. And then we take a look at the jumper and look at that jumper speed. I was late on that. Look at how fast that jumper is. Now, it's going to take me a while to start greening it. But once I start greening, I promise you guys, I will not miss. See, look at that, man. 
How do you not want this card at power forward on your team? He is literally a budget Bill Russell. Yeah, man, just wanted to quickly show you guys that jumper. If you have not grinded for Christian Wood, please go ahead and do so. And oh yeah, on next gen, yeah, guys, he's got the curry side. He's got that speed and he's got all the flashy dunks. Get this card if you haven't already. I promise you, you're gonna regret it otherwise. All right, so after a full days of hard work, guys, I'm gonna take the rest of the evening off. I'm gonna catch you guys tomorrow, which will take you guys three seconds. I'm gonna enjoy some playoffs off basketball though so i'll see you guys in three two one Welcome back to a brand new day in the no money spent world, man. Not too much has changed. You can see we're still level 36. Now, like I mentioned before, guys, I don't think I'm going to be going for the Vince, or at least I'm not going to be trying. If we get him, we get him. If we don't, then we really don't. I'm not worried about it. He's not really a top tier shooting guard in the game anymore with all the cards that are out. One thing I'm definitely going to be going for is that diamond contract. When it comes to the no money spent series, diamond contracts are a gold mine. I might push it all the way to that hall of fame badge just in case that's another hall of fame blinders you guys saw the last episode we made a ton of mt with that i'm looking to do that again but guys as i was thinking that today we're gonna spend some of our mt and pick up a new point guard 2k decided to bless us and they dropped an insane locker code for those of you guys that have not seen it already i'm gonna put it up on the screen for you now for me all i gotta do is redeem it because i punched it in on my phone as soon as possible i didn't know if it was limited or not and i was freaking out but it's not limited i think it's available for like a week so get it done if you haven't already but it's for a free pink diamond zion williamson and i just did a gameplay on this card earlier today this card is a ton of fun to use. I'm not going to say he's going to be like a top tier point guard on the no money spent or anything like that. But for now, I think I'm going to put him on the squad. Like I mentioned earlier, guys, season eight is coming out later this week, which means I don't want to spend too much MT on cards if I know they're going to get outdated. And we got ourselves a pink diamond Zion. I think this might be the best player locker code we've gotten this year. I can't think of anything that's better. And the crazy thing is this card's a bucket. So again, guys, if you haven't already, man, go ahead and punch that locker code in and secure yourself a free pink diamond Zion. It's insane how many free cards we've secured this episode alone. We've gotten four Dark Matters, we've gotten one Galaxy Opal Christian Wood, and now we got ourselves a pink diamond Zion Williamson. You know what? We're going to take JR Smith out of the lineup for this one because... I want to have fun with my boy Zion. One thing I want to quickly tell you guys about, and we're going to call this the no money spent exclusive. Pink Diamond Ben Simmons. If you're a no money spent player and you do not have this card, I heavily advise you pick him up because look at this, man. He is going up in price. For those of you guys that don't know, if you do play on next gen, they have updated Pink Diamond Ben Simmons. So his jumper is now on very quick. That's right, guys. And they've also given him the ability to curry slide. If you miss out on this card, that's on you, man. 40 Hall of Fame badges. I should have picked him up earlier when he was going for 17,000, but at the time I was recording videos. But if you guys can pick up this Ben Simmons, he's going to be such a good piece on your team. In fact, if I can low-key get him for the low, I might try him out in a video because this card right now, guys, 40 Hall of Fame badges again on a pink diamond card. It just doesn't make sense. It doesn't really look like there's any popping up for snipes and that's okay. But trust me, guys, if you pick up this Ben Simmons or if you find one that has like a diamond contract and a diamond Kobe three-point shoe, you are going to be chilling with this Ben. He literally feels like the dark matter Ben Simmons now and not many people realize it. When you go pick him up, guys, whether you play on current or next gen, his jumper is now on very quick. He is a green machine. You will not regret it. But uh, there's not too much to do on the no money spent now. The one thing we can do is the spot lights begin to grind for bill russell but that's 11 games long so i'm gonna save this as a special for next episode where we secure the invincible bill russell and possibly vince carter we'll have to see but that's gonna be for next episode for now i kind of want to try out my no money spent team because uh the squad right now is looking good and honestly you know what just for the video guys i'm gonna pick up this ben simmons and i'm gonna show you guys how good he is i'll probably sell him back later but i realized i'm gonna need him for xp challenges anyways so why not debut this card i'm actually gonna put him in the starting lineup right here because I think he's actually gonna fit pretty well but if I find like a juiced Ben Simmons the auction house with extra Hall of Fame badges and that Kobe shoe I was talking about I am 1 million percent gonna buy it on the no money spend but uh for now man we got a whole starting lineup of new cards I promise you we might not win this game but we're still gonna try let's see what these new cards are all about all right so our matchup today is K loves Kong this sounds like he's gonna be a sweaty player he's got a picture of LeBron 
Let's get down to business. All right, ladies and gentlemen, look at this. Ben Simmons, he's got the Curry slide now. It makes no sense going right to the rim. And this card is going to be so overpowered. We don't dunk it right there, but I promise you guys, he feels exactly like the dark matter. This guy's going to go straight into that 5-0. George Mike, and I need you to contest those. He's not hitting the full white. All right, let's go right up to Ben Simmons. Look at this. He's so cheesy all the way through. Alley, you that George Mikan is there to catch it. All right, let's go into a zone. He wants to sit in a 5 out. That's perfectly fine. Get back on defense. Good defense there by Ben. Let's go out to Zion in transition. The big man all the way. And one. Let's go, Xanos. Go ahead and convert that free throw. It's looking nice and easy. Again, I did a gameplay on this card, so I'm pretty familiar with him. But I'm trying to go off with Ben Simmons low key because people really don't realize how blessed this card is. This definitely has not been a great quarter for us. We can definitely play better. Wood, stop it. I'm popping that. That's an easy green. Come on now. We know what that card's about too. Slow it down, slow it down. I see Zion in the corner. Swing it over. Ooh, Elgin Baylor. This man is chicken. Let me get the space. Curry slide. Too much space there for Baylor, and we're knocking down the three. Let's go, baby. Let me see if I can get Zion some buckets here. Off ball deodorant. Oh, there we go. Right to Ben. First three of the night, and that's a green. Look at that jumper on very quick, man. It's beautiful. This guy right now is not missing. Hit that screen. Thank you. Elgin Baylor, I need you to hit those, man. Big time three. Let's go. I need a good screen here. Finesse that screen. Curry slide. Thank you. Right to the basket. Zion Williamson, go ahead and put that down. This is a tough game, man. We're giving up way too many threes. The pick and rolls in this game have been so bad. Nice little Curry slide. Oh, yeah. Let's go all the way. Zion, you're way too fast there for Nicholas Batum. Beautiful dunk, man. All right, we got to get the bench in here. Zion is exhausted. Good defense. Get the steal. No way we don't get the steal there. Please put up a bad shot. He has to put up a bad shot. Good defense there by Ben. Get the rebound. Let's go to Ben. Ben, you got to start running, man. Let's go to Baylor. Slow it down. Slow it down. Right back to Wood. I see Zion in the corner. Let me get a good screen. This is an automatic three. Hit that screen. Thank you. Give me those. That's a green, baby. Let's go. All right, let's go back to a man-to-man -man defense. Let's get Ben Simmons going here. There we go. Nice little finesse on the pick and roll. Straight to the basket. Look at this, man. It's dark matter Ben Simmons copy and paste. Get there. George Mikan with the big time block. We got to get these rebounds, man. Not getting these rebounds is killing us. Throw a double team at him. He's going to have to pass the ball. That's a turnover. Let's see if we can end this quarter off on a good note. Hit that screen. Thank you. Hall of Fame deep threes. Go ahead and green that Jimmy Buckets. Just like that, our opponent has left the match. You do not mess with a no money spent squad the funny thing is i ran into this person on my main account and i'm sure he didn't realize i just hooped on him with both my accounts my no money spent and my money spent account those are the dubs you love to see man completing the gold tier there i'll take a nice little gold posterizer and a will barton so our record right now is four and oh i don't know if i want to grind out 11 more games for tj warren i'll have to think about it but somebody just said on twitter that they have a pink diamond ben simmons up for 100k and it has 47 Hall of Fame badges. So I just need to go to minimum bid. And you go all the way to 100,000. And let me see where it is. Look at that, man. A Ben Simmons with 46 Hall of Fame badges. Someone decides to put Hall of Fame range on a Ben Simmons. Look at that. This Ben Simmons is going to go for quite a bit. And honestly, he's going to be worth it. He's got just as many Hall of Fame badges as the Dark Matter now. And the big difference was that Hall of Fame range. All he needs now is that Kobe shoe. And this card is perfect. But you guys were able to see in that debut that this Ben Simmons, he means trouble. Now, I'm not going to sell him just yet. I am going to sell him later because I don't necessarily need him on the squad. I really just want to debut him for you budget players. Uh, Zion Williamson, he was doing his thing. I like my Christian Wood. George Mikan, we actually didn't get out rebounded that game and we were up against James Wiseman so that was nice to see had Bobo and James Worthy coming off the bench we didn't even have to play our super cards I didn't have to play Koo Coach. I didn't have to play Bailey Howell but yeah man as far as the no money spent goes I think I'm gonna grind out a little bit of XP by the next episode we're gonna be grinding out the spotlights and we're gonna do whatever it takes to secure that Bill Russell by the next episode should be a ton of fun and then for those of you guys that are struggling on those challenges you can kind of see how I do it and then we'll be vibing and we'll be ready for season eight so if you guys want another episode by wednesday let's get 3,000 likes on today's episode i do want to thank you guys for watching though four dark matters have been secured i think that's a dub episode if you did enjoy don't forget to leave a like and for you new viewers you know you gotta hit that subscribe button and join the blazing nation i want to thank you guys for watching i hope you all have an awesome day and take care